everyone, this is Susie Q of Susie Q's Happy Little Haven, and welcome to my nursery room. Window. Hi everyone, so today I have Scotty with me, and um, I haven't brought him on for about a month. I just checked back on my videos, and um, I believe a month ago was only about the second time I had brought him on um, because I was doing my Choose Your Favorite Reborn project, which is now ended. Um, but anyway, um, I wanted to bring him on again because he is uh, one of my newbies. <laughs> um, I got him in December of last year and um, I just love him to bits. And I just, uh, I wanted to bring him on again. Now I'll show you his uh, information. He is the teal sculpt by Myra Garza. And he is number 400 of 400, if you can believe that. Um, Let's see, his, his kit was produced by City of Reborns Angels uh, in Australia. And um, let's see, he is 22 inches and his artist is Melissa O'Neill and she is, um, she is located in Ireland. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring him on because I really, um, I really love this little guy. I want to get him changed. And so um, let me show you the outfit and then I'll show you some more details. Um, some of my new subscribers, for um, this will be the first time that you've met him. So anyway, um, this is the outfit that I chose. Uh, this is a, a darling pair of little pants that I bought uh, several years ago from eBay. And they are secondhand. Um, they're from the brand Layette, and they're super, super nice. Um, they have like this um, really nice uh, inside brown uh, soft lining. And I just thought it was so cute because it has these like a corduroy patch and a, and a plaid patch and a plain patch. And they just, you know, seemed like they looked like little boy jeans to me. And then at the bottoms, um, they are rolled up just once and they're actually sewn that way um, but you can you can see the um, the inside it kind of you know is the uh, accent color the brown is kind of the accent color for uh, the outfit so those are the pants he's got two two little uh, pockets in the front and then he's got two little pockets in the back along with another plaid uh, patch so he's all patched up you guys um, so let's see I, uh, he's going to also be wearing this cute little uh, uh, little monkey outfit. Um, it's not an outfit, it's a onesie, and it goes really, really well with those pants. And um, yeah, so that'll be it uh, for his outfit. Um, these are his um, accessories are going to be these little shoes. And he has really large feet. Um, these shoes are a size two. He wears a size two, if you can believe that. And then um, I'm going to put these uh, nice brown socks on him. I just thought these were really nice, really nice, soft, uh, plushy, not plush, but they just feel like suede, but they're not, you know. So uh, last but not least, it's been kind of chilly. Uh, today we woke up to 19 degrees here in West Virginia, which is really cold. And when I came out here to the farmhouse, it was uh, like 31 degrees, I think it was. So um, hopefully it's warmed up by now. But anyway, um, I wanted to put this little uh, this sweatshirt on him. It has the brown in it, and it also has a pretty color of blue. And um, this is a size three to six months, and it's an old navy. And um, this is also a, a secondhand um, sweatshirt in really, really, uh, really good condition. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so that's all for his accessories. And um, so let's go ahead and get started and get this little guy changed. I actually really love the outfit that he's wearing here with the little truck. Um, the little like a safari a safari truck with a, uh, a giraffe and a and a lion. Um, but um, anyway, he's you know he'll be changed into a, the other cute outfit, and I think I'm gonna like that one on him as well. And this is his little Dino, <laughs> his little Dino that has this little cheeky smile. Yes, he does. Yep, he, he actually came with Dino in his box opening. So, we just kind of put uh, Dino aside for now. Let's go ahead and put him right here. And um, I'm going to change him. Whoops. 
Um, I'm going to change him uh, going this way and don't worry, I will adjust the camera. I'm also going to put his hat back on him. Super cute hat. It's a, it's an actual uh, Disney uh, Winnie the Pooh hat and I got this from eBay as well. So I used to do a lot of uh, eBay shopping. You can find some really nice um, clothes on eBay for, for babies and children. Um, because as you, as you all know, uh, those of you who have had um, or have children and they were uh, youngsters at one time, um, they grow out of their clothes really, really quickly. And so most of the time, the little ones, um, bef actually before they start walking, um, they, grow, <laughs> they grow out of their outfits really quickly and um, they don't really use them much, you know. So yeah, um, I love this little guy. He has beautifully, beautifully painted hair. Very realistic. Uh, very, very realistic. And then um, same, the same with his eyebrows. Awesomely done. Uh, just, let's see, I don't know if you can tell, but he's got deep blue eyes. About the color of, I would say the color of, um, well, the color of this dinosaur pillow. The color of blue beautiful and um, he's got uh, rooted lashes on top and then barely there little uh, painted eyelashes uh, down below uh, melissa o'neill is just so uh, she is a really an art an awesome artist um, her detailing like the you know she, uh, she made his ears you know how they would be like maybe a little bit tipped red at the top and um, he's just he's just perfect uh, so yeah, I really like her artistry. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, she's a, she's actually a new artist for me. Um, I, several of you know about her already, but I just recently found out about her. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm very pleased with her work. I am very, very pleased with her work. So I'm going to go ahead and take these uh, little tennis shoes off. These are Super cute, as you can see. They're size two. Yeah, I mean he does. He has um, he has large feet, uh, but he's a big baby. You know, he wears size three to six months. Um, you know, uh, Melissa, uh, she didn't send a birth certificate with him, so I contacted her. She sent the COA, which is really important, but she didn't send the birth certificate. And I contacted her. I asked her, did she forget to send it? And uh, she said that she doesn't send birth certificates with her babies. Um, I don't know if she used to or if she just doesn't anymore. I'm not sure. But um, so uh, I looked up his his uh, sculpt on um, uh, McPherson's, which is my favorite site um, to look up information on uh, babies and such. And uh, also to buy, you know, uh, they're also my favorite site to buy uh, reborn bodies. They have some really, really nice ones. But uh, so yeah, I looked up his information and um, I did find that uh, that he was, what did, let's see, what did I say? 20, 22, yeah, he's 22 inches. And um, to me, oh, it's, and it's only because I think if he, if he didn't have his little froggy legs, he would probably be much longer. Um, but um, yeah, because he does wear a large, a larger size. Um, it seems to me like a, a baby that is tw like 23 inches. Seems like my 23 inch babies wear like a zero to three months, but this one um, is a, a, a lot um, chubbier, or I'm not sure what you would call it. He's not chubby exactly. He's just a big boy. He's big. <laughs> He's a big boy. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and unsnap this. Take it off. There you go. He's got, it's, look at this, it's getting caught on his ears. One of the things, uh, the very first thing that drew me to him, you guys, was his ears. I love the way that his ears, let me see if I can um, see, uh, show you. I'm trying to look in the, let me pull this up. Look at this, you guys. Look at his ears. <laughs> that is so darn cute the way his ears poke out like that. I love his ears. I saw him. I saw his big blue eyes. I saw his ears. And I immediately, I named him Scotty. 
Um, who I named him after is, um, is there, okay, on American, yeah, it's American Idol. Um, we used to watch American Idol and there's this, there's uh, Scotty McCreary. Um, he actually won an American Idol at one time in his uh, past. And uh, he's a country singer. And um, when Scotty McCreary, when we first saw him, my impression of him was, you know, um, he had these ears that poked out and he was really cute. He's a cute guy, you know, he got a, he's got a really nice voice. And uh, so when I first saw this little guy, I just immediately thought of Scotty McCreary. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't follow Scotty McCreary or anything like that, but, um, you know, he does have songs on, uh, uh, you know, CMT. Um, that's the, the country music channel. And so he does have songs on there, you know, videos and stuff. And so, um, yeah, once in a while, um, he'll put a song up there or, and uh, we'll get to see Scotty. He, he got married um, uh, not too recently, maybe a few years ago. And he's, he's got, um, I don't know how many kids he has now. Uh, there is, I, I only knew of one. And like I said, I don't really follow him. So by now he's probably got more than that. But... Um, but anyways, this little guy r reminds me of what Scotty would look like as a baby. So, yeah. And he's a cutie patootie and he's got these feet that just don't quit. They just don't quit because they're just so big. <laughs> so, I was so excited to bring him back on again. Um, okay, I'm going to put his socks on first. Um, do you, did you notice how I'm, I'm starting to get into the habit of putting socks on first before the pants? Um, actually, actually, I'm going to put the socks on first. I'm not going to put the pants on next because I don't want to forget. <laughs> In fact, I have to put this on. This is his onesie and um, I don't want to forget to put his onesie on. In my last video, I think it was my last video, um, I was chatting away and um, actually uh, almost forgot to put a shirt on. <laughs> but I had a couple of my Dolly friends remind me, you know, and say, hey, Gail, you know, um, you forgot to put you, to his shirt on. And I heard you out there uh, saying that, you two, you two ladies, you know who you are that said it. <laughs> And uh, anyway, yeah, they told me and I, I heard them and um, I ended up putting the shirt on, which was a, which was a good thing. <laughs> yeah, even though his, um, the onesie that I had on him would have been really cute, but I had planned on putting a, a particular shirt on him. So, so ladies, you know how that is. When you have plans, you want to go for it, don't you? So, yeah. Let's see, uh, what have I been up to? Well, I have been, um, I have been on my own for a little bit. Um, my hubby um, had uh, gone on one of his short vacations, his little mini vacation, um, to be with his, um, his brother and his buddy. And so he had left and um, Jenny and I uh, held down the fort. Yes, we did. And uh, he has such a great time, and uh, I, you know, I'm not a traveler at all, at all, you guys. Um, I just, I just don't enjoy it. That's the thing, you know. I just don't enjoy it. Um, I'm uh, very much a homebody. Um, uh, for those of you who have been with me for a while, know that know that. But to my new subscribers, um, I am a homebody, <laughs> and so. But my husband, he is an adventurer. Uh, he loves to go traveling and so um, yeah he left and he um, you know took an airplane and he he uh, had several days of fun with his um, with his brother and his buddy and uh, but he he wore him out and I think he wore himself out too one of the big things about going with my hubby is that he is non-stop from the time that he gets there he is non-stop he goes from morning until evening every day for as long as he's there and uh, I just I cannot and I don't want to um, keep up with him just it's too difficult and uh, in fact 
um, you know, <laughs> uh, see, his friend's wife and my brother-in-law's wife uh, both tell me when the guys get home after um, being with him for just a day. Now they are they're together several days uh, each day, but he, they always say they're exhausted, and, you know. And I I tell them I, I you know I just totally get it, you know. I just totally get it, but. Um, his mom, uh, my hubby's mom was that way. Um, she was, uh, I was uh, talking, to, talking to my hubby this morning about, about that. And uh, I was telling him how he, you know, how I just, you know, I don't know how you do it, you know, going, um, you know, all day, all day, every day from morning till evening. And he goes, well, um, at least I, I'm not as bad as my mom because, um, his mom is no longer living, but we went, uh, we've gone, gone places with her before. And one time um, we met her down at um, uh, Florida's Disney World. And, uh, and uh, she had a group of people with her. And so we kind of, we kind of joined the group with, with her. And uh, the, sh I mean, she wore even my hubby out and that, that is saying a lot. I didn't ever think that, <laughs> that he could wear out, but um, he, yeah, he does get tired um, during his vacation time. Uh, by, okay, when he first gets there, he's really, um, you know, full of energy and, and all pepped up to go and goes, goes, goes. And he loves public transportation, so he takes everywhere he goes. He likes to take buses and trains and um, all that stuff. You know, he doesn't want to drive there. so. Um, but anyway, so, but by the time, like the day before, a couple of days before he's, he's going to come home, he's always like, oh, I can't wait to get home. Oh, I'm exhausted. You know, that type of thing. So um, anyway, he does get tired, but it takes him a, a while uh, to do that. Um, you know what, you guys, I don't want to put that, um, I don't want to put the sweatshirt on him because, um, I think I like the outfit without the sweatshirt. I don't want to cover this up. So um, I'm just going to leave a, the sweatshirt off. Um, I'm making an executive decision. <laughs> so yeah, but I am going to put his hat on because, you know, look at this. His hat is going to go really well. And even though I love his hair, it's beautifully done. Um, he just looks really cute in a hat. He just really does. And I, I like him in the with that sideways um, hat look. So I'm going to sit sit him up. I'll, I'll readjust the camera for you guys. I'm going to sit him up here and take this dinosaur pillow away. I had to use the dinosaur pillow because um, he is all about dinosaurs, as you can tell by his little levy. So let's see. I'll go ahead and bring the camera back up for you guys. There he is. So yeah, um, I told you that I would be doing videos every other day, and I have been pretty, I've been really good at that schedule. Uh, but when my hubby leaves, and um, th that day, I don't, um, I don't want to do a video because I want to, you know, hang by the phone. And then when he gets home, I want to hang by the phone too. So there's a couple of days in there that I didn't do a video just because of that situation. So, yeah. But um, I'm, I'm going to um, get back on my every, every other day schedule. Um, yeah, whenever, if something comes up, of course, I have to do that, like doctor's appointment or dentist or whatever, you know. But I'm going to try to stick with my every other day schedule for you all. So um, I hope you've been enjoying that. Yeah, let, you know what? I just had a thought. Let me know if you like my every other day schedule or if you think it, you know, if, if you think it's too much. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm trying it out and uh, it's so far so good with me. It's working for me. So anyways, um, so there he is. He's my little cutie patootie. I hope you like him in his little monkey outfit. Too bad that's not a dinosaur. <laughs> but um, anyway, everyone, thank you so much for joining me and Scotty today. Uh, it was fun getting back to you. I've missed you. Um, I have a wonderful rest of your day. And until we meet again, bye-bye for me and little Scotty and little cheeky Dino. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.